Kelly O'Donnell of NBC. <clears throat> you have said leaving Afghanistan is in the national interest of the United States. After today's attack, do you believe you will authorize additional forces to respond to that attack inside Afghanistan? And are you, are you prepared to add additional forces to protect those Americans who remain on the ground carrying out the evacuation operation? I've instructed the military, whatever they need, if they need additional force, I will grant it. But the military from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, the Joint Chiefs, the commanders in the field have all contacted me one way or another, usually by letter, saying they subscribe to the mission as designed to get as many people out as we can within the time frame that is allotted. That is the best way they believe to get as many Americans out as possible and others. And with regard to finding, tracking down the ISIS leaders who ordered this, we have some reason to believe we know who they are, not certain. And we will find ways of our choosing without large military operations to get them. Wherever they are. Um, Trevor Reuters. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, there's been some criticism, uh, even from people in your party, about the dependence on the Taliban to secure the perimeter of the airport. Do you, do you feel like there was a, a mistake uh, made in that regard? No, I, I, I don't. Look, um, I think General McKenzie handled this question very well. The fact is that we're in a situation, we're inherited in a situation, particularly since, as we all know, that the Afghan military collapsed 11 days before, in 11 days, that it is in the interest of, as McKenzie said, in the interest of the Taliban that, in fact, ISIS-K does not metastasize beyond what it is, number one. And number two, it's in their interest that we are able to leave on time, on target. And as a consequence of that, the major things we've asked them, moving back the perimeter, giving more space between the wall, stopping vehicles from coming through, et cetera, searching people coming through. It is not what you'd call a tightly commanded, regimented operation like the U.S. is, the military is, but they're acting in their interest, their interest. And so, by and large, and I've asked the same question, to military on the ground, whether or not it's a useful exercise. No one trusts them. We're just counting on their self-interest to continue to generate their activities. And it's in their self-interest that we leave when we said, and that we get as many people out as we can like I said, even in the midst of everything that happened today, over 7,000 people we've gotten out, over 5,000 Americans over. So uh, it's not a matter of trust. It's a matter of mutual self-interest. And uh, — but there is no evidence thus far that I've been given as a consequence by any of our commanders in the field that there has been collusion between the Taliban and ISIS in carrying out what happened today, both in front of the hotel and what is expected to continue for uh, beyond today. Um, Amir, Associated Press. Oh, th thank you, Mr. President. 
you have spoken um, again powerfully about uh, your own son and the weight of these decisions. With that in mind, and also what you've said, um, that the longer we stay, the more likelihood that there would be a major attack. How do you weigh staying even one more day considering what's happened? Because I think what America says matters. What we say we're going to do in the context in which we say we're going to do it, that we do it, unless something exceptional changes. There are additional American citizens. There are additional green card holders. There are additional personnel of our allies. There are additional SIV card holders. There are additional Afghans that have helped us. And there are additional groups of individuals that have been contacted us from women's groups to NGOs and others who have expressly indicated they want to get out and have gathered in certain circumstances in groups on buses and other means that still presents the opportunity for in the next several days between now and the 31st to be able to get them out. And our military, and I believe, to the extent that we can do that knowing the threat, knowing that we may very well have another attack, the military has concluded that's what we should do. I think they're right. I think they're correct. And after that, we're going to be in a uh, circumstance where there are, will be, I believe, numerous opportunities to continue to provide access for additional persons to get out of Afghanistan, either through means that we provide and or are provided through in cooperation with the Taliban. They're not good guys, the Taliban. I'm not suggesting that at all. But they have keen interest. As many of you have been reporting, they very much would like to figure out how to keep the airport open. They don't have the capacity to do it. They very much are trying to figure out whether or not they can uh, maintain what is the portion of an economy that has become not robust, but fundamentally different than it had been. And so there's a lot of reasons why they have reached out, not just to us, but to others, as to why it would be continued in their interest to get more of the personnel we want to get out, we can locate them. Now, there's not many left that we can assess that are, want to come out. There's some Americans we've identified, we've contacted the vast majority of them, not all of them, who don't want to leave because they have they're dual nationals, they have extended families, et cetera. And there's others who uh, are looking for the time. So that's why we continue. I'll take a few more questions and, uh, but Hi, you, sir. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, you, okay. uh, you say that what America says matters. Um, what do you say to the Afghans who helped tr troops um, who may not be able to get out by August 31st? I what, say we're going to continue to try to get you out. It matters. Look, I know of no conflict as a student of history, no conflict where when a war was ending, one side was able to guarantee that everyone they wanted to be extracted from that country, would get out. And think about it, folks. I think it's important for, I know the American people get this in their gut. There are, I would argue, millions of Afghani citizens who are not Taliban, 
who did not actively cooperate with us as SIVs, who, if given a chance, they'd be on board a plane tomorrow. It sounds ridiculous, but the vast majority of people in communities like that want to come to America, given a choice. So getting every single person out is — can't be guaranteed by anybody because there's a determination all who wants to get out as well. At any rate, it's a process. I was really pointing to you, but you, sir. Um, thank you, Mr. President. There are reports that U.S. officials provided the Taliban with names of Americans and Afghan officials uh, to evacuate. Were you aware of that? Did that happen? And then, sir, did you personally reject a recommendation to hold or to recapture Bagram Air Force Base? Here's what I've done on the — let's ask this, answer the last question first. On the tactical questions of how to conduct an evacuation or a war, I gather up all the major military personnel that are in Afghanistan, the commanders, as well as the Pentagon. And I ask for their best military judgment what would be the most efficient way to accomplish the mission. They concluded, the military, that Bagram was not much value added, that it was much wiser to focus on Kabul. And so I followed that recommendation. With regard to — there are certain circumstances where we've gotten information, and quite frankly, sometimes from some of you, saying you know of such and such a group of people are trying to get out, and they're on a bus, they're moving from other people. And this is their location. And there have been occasions when our military has contacted their military counterparts in the Taliban and said, this — for example, this bus is coming through with X number of people on it, made up of the following group of people. We want you to let that bus or that group through. So, yes, there have been occasions like that. And to the best of my knowledge, in those cases, the bulk of that has occurred. They've been let through. But I can't tell you with any certitude that there's actually been a list of names. I know there may have been, but I know of no circumstance. It doesn't mean it's not — didn't exist. That here's the names of 12 people. They're coming. Let them through. That could very well have happened.